Well, it's funny, when people are in doubt about the concept of sustainability, I think back to 1987 when we set up a, a company called Sustainability, and for the first three to four years we had to spell the concept. We don't have to do that any longer. Now business leaders are starting to talk uh, that sort of language. When I think 100 years into the future, I think sustainability will be a concept like democracy or liberty or whatever. It, it, it has that sort of resonance and power. The reason why I'm, I'm uh, confident that it will be long-lasting is because uh, the pressures are building. And I think you know, if we get to a population on this planet of somewhere between 9 and 11 billion people, God help us in a way. And, and, and so the, 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 the mindsets, the tools, the business models and so on that cluster under the sustainability heading, I think they will be absolute guaranteed part of the future, but not everywhere in the world. D different countries, different regions will embrace this uh, at different speeds and with different effect levels of effectiveness. We've tracked societal pressure waves on governments and business since 19, back to 1960. We think we've gone through a fourth wave there, and we've called that the sustainability wave, not because people were delivering sustainability, but because they were talking about it. And very often when surveys were done in the last two or three years, you would find CEOs around the world, hundreds of them, saying, you know, we've already done sustainability. What they meant was they were reporting, they were engaging stakeholders, they are doing a bit of supply chain uh, challenge work, but they weren't, weren't talking about system change. And I think fundamentally, that's what the agenda is about. Sustainability and profit can exist. Uh, the, the whole idea 20 years ago when I came up with the notion of people, planet, profit was to make that point. And there are areas like organic foods or renewable energy where people are making you know, reasonable profits now. But in terms of longer term, can most business make a profit by doing the right thing? Actually, that's going to require uh, government action and sustained government action, and it's going to need the capital markets to change the way that they think and invest. So um, the simple answer is yes. If you're clever enough, you can make a profit in, in this space. But if you really want to make trillions of dollars, which is at least possible, then you've got to reconfigure markets. And governments are the only real actors that can do that. Next big thing, I think it's cities. I think in, in, in a way we've been focusing on business, expecting individual companies to change the world. I think increasingly cities and city-states are going to come under the spotlight. For me, the highlight has been a, a lunch that I've just come back from with Jeffrey Sachs, uh, just talking about the Sustainable Development Goals. And there is this sense that it's an important moment in our history with those goals being launched in September. My own view is that they're not business friendly. There are just too many of them. And we were just talking about how that might um, almost be engineered. How do, you, how do you get that agenda, which is very much UN friendly, to be business friendly and capital market friendly? And I think we've got to do that very urgently. So th th that I think will stick in my mind. The reason why I think the uh, Bonn conference uh, series on global transformation is so important is largely because of Germany's role. I think Europe has to play a bigger role in the sustainability field. Germany is right at the center of that, and it's, it's astonishing to be here. I, I've really enjoyed uh, the conference to date.